Hey guys, welcome back. Quick little, quick little uh, recap here. What's going on? Little jazz music to mellow you out. Uh, GameStop tanking, it's falling off a cliff. The short squeeze is over. It was all covered here on this run up. They covered all their shorts, the 200 to 900% of them. And now we're just stuck with the bag. I don't believe that. Um, that's why, that's one of the reasons for me why the GME price doesn't matter. Because until I see an actual short squeeze, and I'm only no knowing what a short squeeze looks like based from uh, historic short squeezes, one being Volkswagen. Uh, I think it was like a thousand percent up in two days. It lasted over multiple of days. Um, until I see that halting going up for days and days and then it comes down for days and days, then I'll be like, okay, that was the squeeze. So until then, I'm not, I'm not convinced on this. Um, could say any number of reasons why this is happening. This is that I'll go over a couple of the theories. Um, but this really, this really is a gift and it's a blessing to be able to have GameStop this low again and still because if you had conviction here and you you held off and didn't FOMO and had patience because the stock market is the transfer of wealth from the impatient to the patient you had the patience and not not saying that you know this wasn't a good time to buy I think this actually was <laughs> um, but that's why this is a gift because then even this it's setting up like a bull flag but uh, since this is highly manipulated stock um, it's not going based on that sort of technicals and that sort of deal so if you had patience your gift is coming and it is on its way for me to go long um in the short of it to get more of a long position i'm already long on it but to average down scale in whatever i'm gonna wait for a bottom i don't buy on dips um unless if it's on an upward trend so if it's upward trending and there's a big dip and it looks like it's bouncing off a moving average then yeah GME doesn't really work like that um, when it's basically being manipulated like Pinocchio. Wait, was Pinocchio real? Anyways, um, yeah, what I'm seeing here is it looks like it's breaking through this 180 day moving average. Terrific. That is terrific. And we'll let it keep coming down. I want to briefly show you this really quick. Many of the charts you can see from the Volkswagen short squeeze. It actually plummeted before it squeezed. It was at its lowest it had been in a long time. Um, the Volkswagen squeeze. So if you think of where that would be on GME, that might be, I'm not saying it'll happen like this, but this is a possibility. That could be $40 a share on GME. Uh, $20 a share. I don't know, but uh, that's cer certainly how it happened with Volkswagen. And it could be how it's happening with this. The different ways that they're bringing down the price. People want to know, how is this possible? How is this possible? Uh, price doesn't matter. This price doesn't matter when it's on, uh, especially when it's on this low volume. So this is, today's even a little bit more volume. Probably some retail is getting scared. Um, but it's still low volume. It's, uh, let's see, we're at 11 million on this day. These days, in the middle of the day on the hourly chart, we're at 16 million. Back here, look, look at that volume on that, 15 million. So this is relatively low volume still. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's being manipulated in different ways. I'll, I'll go over one of them. Um, I won't go over all this, but basically they're shorting it through the ETFs that hold a position in GME. Uh, do not worry about the price decreasing. This is all synthetically created to kick down the eventual outcome down the road through lending ETF shares and recent data proves that over 3.5 million shares were lent out through ETFs yesterday. So this was just reported yesterday. So this is starting from yesterday's dip. And the failure to, to deliver are accumulating each and every day. It's like maxing out your credit card to pay off the debt on your other credit card. Does it solve the issue? No, it only delays it and makes it worse. Secondly, there's no volume to back up the current dip and just goes on to show you how this is all synthetically created to spread FUD. Uh, fear, uncertainty, doubt. I believe that's what FUD is. People who cheer for GME put on the short list need to realize it has no impact as hedge funds have other ways to artificially decrease the price. 
Um, I cheer when it's on a short list because then it doesn't have short ladder attacks. And that really freaks people out. <laughs> but yeah, they still can short it, they just can't have the attacks that they do. Um, so yeah, shorting through the ETFs. Here's another one that's pretty good. It's on Wall Street Bets. Price of how, how do how I learned to stop worrying about GME's dips and love the dips. Love the dips. I'll just skip down to the bottom. Ed funds, the hedge funds know that apes are conditioned to think money has value. Share prices don't reflect what people think it's worth. They only reflect the last trade. The hedge funds also know they can easily manipulate the last tri trade price on low volumes. That's what, we're, that's what we've been seeing the last two days. The hedge funds are screwed as long as apes don't let New York Stock Exchange ticker tell them what they should value the shares to be. Aha. Um, I had a video on this if you guys haven't seen it. It is, uh, it's, it's titled, let's see, I just shared it on my Twitter, this one, this is my video, this is GME News, this was back in February 6th, you guys can watch this, um, it says GME price doesn't matter, that goes over why the price doesn't matter, and, uh, it does if you want to go long, because you can get a better price if it goes down more, but as far as thinking it's not worth this, or it's worth this, or uh, the, the P&L you see on your account that's going down and you think, oh, this isn't good, I'm losing all this money. You actually aren't losing money because you don't lose money till you sell. And that money that you thought you made, you actually hadn't made it yet because you didn't sell. So you don't make or lose the money until you sell, until you close your position. Until it's a cash balance, it's nothing. It's just numbers on a screen. And even then after technically still numbers on a screen, we won't talk about that. Yeah, this thing's taken. And this is this is a gift for those that want to go long on it. I want to open up some more options, shares, whatever. Um, it could keep keep going for days. Honestly, we could have this. Everyone's saying March nineteenth, but I mean, this thing could we could dump down for days, back down to this forty range, and for it to get down to here, it'll probably on this low volume, it'll probably take the rest of the week if it is going to go that low. Um, with how this is, I don't think it's going to go low like it did in Volkswagen because the Volkswagen one was like September I mean this was like a month of climbing and then it tanked this was like a week so I just I don't think this squeeze is gonna happen like that I'm saying it could and if, if it does like to me I'm not saying I'm not thinking oh since it had this huge dip that means they've already covered and now it's going down I, I I'm not I'm not into that I don't think that's the case so, and like I said, until I see that price action of it halting going up for for weeks and um, there's evidence that shorts are starting to cover, um, then I'll think, then I'll know when it's the bottom or when it's actually going down naturally. Uh, it'll also be on, it'll be on heavy volume those days once the squeeze starts. And mind you, it's not, this isn't one day. Some of the charts show it. It's like one day, and this one's okay. It's like a day up and then like it comes back down 50% and then it opens up way down here, down further and then shoot, you know what I mean? So it's multiple days of volatility with the trend going up. And I think with GME's case, it's probably gonna be, it might, it might be up to a week of that where it's a huge up and then it'll be a huge down, but less of a down. So it's gonna be big shaking out, new shorts, new longs, and people are gonna be, it's gonna be nuts. Um. But yeah, so an, another analogy real quick on the price and what this ticker means and what it actually doesn't mean. Um, say you bought a house for $100,000 and you thought this house is worth $100,000. You know, the neighbor's houses are worth $100,000. This one's the same as the neighbor's, whatever. And someone comes to you the next day, and I've shared this analogy before, and they say, hey, I'll give you $50,000 for your house. That's, that's the best I can do. I mean, that, this house isn't worth more than that. Do you all of a sudden sell your house? Oh my goodness, this house is only worth $50,000. He just offered me $50,000. It's not worth a hundred anymore. What happened? I must sell it before someone offers me $25,000. That's this. That's all this is. You know what You know what this GME stock is worth? Because you know what you'll sell it for. If you think it's worth $172.35, then sell it for that. If you think it's worth more, then you sell it for that. That's it, guys. Um, looks like we're kind of hitting a little bounce here, but no, see, it's it's trending down. So for me to go long, you got to zoom in, you got to zoom out. I like to use five minute, one hour, and daily, um, but it's trending down, and it could continue to. 
So that's good to me. I think this is this is good. This is getting closer to the end. There are little short attacks. Let's start off with this one, which was 50% drop. Yeah, it's all right. Came right back up. Consolidation, and then this short attack the other day that was pathetic. Nothing, and now I think yeah maybe they're shorting through ETFs. And they're short, still short attacking it. They just have to go slow with it. It's just not really volatile because they have to do it on upticks. Um, and you can tell because it's low, it's low volume. So uh, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Follow me on Twitter. I'm updating this thing regularly. Short squeeze. Um, it's at Happy Money YT. And then yeah, check out this video. It's GME news. GME price doesn't matter. I uploaded it on February sixth. Or no, February 3rd. It's on my Twitter too. I linked it. And it kind of goes over. It's it's crazy. Yeah, same thing's happening then. So that's it. That's all I got. Thanks guys for watching. Sub up, like up, comment down. Happy money sticks around. We'll see see you at the end of the day for the recap. Unless this thing just tanks even harder, then I might come back on and give a little uh give a little lesson. Okay, peace out.